Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas, where I'm delighted to be joined by Tyler Prince, SVP of Worldwide Alliances and Channel for Snowflake, along with Chris Cruz, Managing Director, Technology Partnerships at AWS. Tyler, Chris, such a pleasure to be with you on the show floor here. Both of your companies have industry-leading conferences. Why are these events so pivotal to show up big together? Tyler, let's start with you. Yeah, happy to, happy to share that with you. It's exciting, really, to show up here working with our friends at AWS and and show all of our momentum and innovation, put that on full display for the world to see. Uh, and it really starts with the customer stories, right? We work very hard to help our customers be successful and we celebrate them here at an event like this and also at our summit, of course. Uh, and, uh, and it's exciting because they share those stories and inspires other customers on their journey uh, to the cloud. It's also exciting to see the, the, the ecosystem, the, the, the shared ecosystem we have as well. So when you think about the Snowflake ecosystem of services partners, SIs, app providers, data, technology partners, almost all of them without exception are also amazing AWS partners. And so the power of that connected ecosystem is really about helping our, our customers be even more successful. You know, I spent quite a bit of time with Deloitte this week as an example, who's one of our most impactful partners. Uh, same, for, uh, same for AWS as well. And it's great that they're building capabilities on Snowflake. It's great that they're building capabilities on AWS and continue to do so, but it's even better when they're building capabilities around our joint solutions and take those to market. Our customers are ones that ultimately win there. And then ultimately, the other thing that I really like about a week like this is when AWS takes the time to recognize some of the investments that Snowflake has made as well. Just uh, in the last couple of weeks, they've announced us as a recipient of the a AWS GenAI competency, which essentially recognizes Snowflake Vortex, one of our, you know, our AI solution set of, set of features, as enterprise-ready, scalable uh, gener uh, you know, Gen AI solution. So we're excited about that. And the last thing I want to say, because it's an exciting week, it gives us an opportunity to reflect on the integration of our of our, our various platforms. So when you when you think about it, Snowflake AI Data Cloud spans 22 of AWS's uh, regions and growing. Uh, but also, we take advantage of integration to 25 of their unique services as well. And so that integration and the investments that we're making together benefits the customers. It, it's work they don't need to do. We do it on their behalf. And so it's exciting to see that come together. Great insights. Thank you, Tyler. Chris, we'd love your thoughts as well. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the same things that Tyler said, but. You know, when I look at these conferences, it's a great way for us to show up together and show that we're really thinking about the customers, you know, uh, and what's best for the customers, right? The days of kind of kind of stuffing your stack down a customer's throat are over. And the customers want to see that. They want to see AWS and Snowflake working together side by side, see the integrations that we're doing, and really see that synergy, right? Because that really helps the customers. And so these conferences are just a great platform to show that joint customer obsession. You know, where AWS has that obsession about customers and so does Snowflake. And, and so that's really a, a critical element, right? The second element is it's just another great way to showcase all of the innovation that both companies are doing, right? It's just a great way to see that firsthand with the customers, you know, from AWS Marketplace, which is one of the services that we work with very closely with Snowflake. In the last 12 months, we've had 45 marquee uh, launches. Wow. And, and so this is a great way to actually show those launches, show how they're being adopted. And it really gives our customers, our partners, all kinds of new ideas on what to do next. Right, one of the things that we just launched was Marketplace Everywhere. We're starting to work with Snowflake on that. But you know, it was really cool to see how all these different partners are using this API set to do creative things. And so those are the two things that I always look for when we do these kind of events is one, it lets us show up together, show the partners that we're committed to working together. And it also lets us both show our innovation. And, and so those are the things that I always try to really focus on when I come to any of these big events. Great perspectives, gentlemen. This has been the year where AI pushed past hypercycle and shifted into implementation. From your collective seats, how does AWS plus Snowflake help future-proof your collective ecosystem of customers? Chris, would love your perspective. Yeah, I mean, if you take a look at what's going on, um, you know, there's, there's a big transformation going on. One of the biggest things that we're working with Snowflake today on is generative AI. And, and, and we're really seeing that transformation starting to happen with our customers. And, and so that's really cool to see. When we look at just the customers that we work with together, Snowflake's on record selling close to $4 billion worth of sales through AWS Marketplace. And so that really gives us that creative mass to go work, uh, work with and go start to have those generative AI uh, storylines, right? Because what we're seeing is there's been a transformation of people are moving from POCs and they're actually going into production, right? We first saw this kind of happening like single digits in terms of that conversion. Then it was in the low teens, now it's about 20%, and it's gonna to continue to grow. And, and so we see that as you know, a really cool thing that we could focus on that really creates that durable advantage. The other piece is, you, know, you can't do Gen AI without data, 
right? It, it's impossible to do that without those going hand in hand. And so having that relationship with Snowflake where we can do this generative capability with the data with Snowflake and vice versa, right? You know, one of the integrations we always point to as a key element is the SageMaker integration that we did with Snowflake. And that allows a SageMaker customer for AWS to actually query data within Snowflake. And it's not a, a one-way street. The, the, the integration that Tyler was just talking about is actually the inverse. So uh, later this year, you're going to be able to use uh, anthropic cloud models out of Amazon Bedrock with Snowflake Cortex. And so now you can actually be on the other side and do the same thing. And, and so we just see all kinds of really cool use cases that are now starting to hit production. And so we're going to continue to double down. We've got a variety of funding programs in place that we've talked about this week that we're going to continue to invest there. And then the final piece is that, in, that industry focus, right? Because we're going industry more and more. We just uh, changed our entire sales organization to have an industry focus. Snowflake has all kinds of awesome industry use cases along healthcare, financial services, media and entertainment. And, and so it just provides, again, this really good customer focus by that vertical industry for really using some of the cutting edge technologies out there. So it's really exciting. Great to hear. Tyler, we'd love your thoughts. Yeah, love to piggyback on the, on the Gen AI thoughts as well, because it, it really is, you, you can feel an event like this when you listen to the customer stories. Um, and, and I agree, I think we've gone from an era, maybe the next chapter, if you will, in generative AI from maybe the assessments and tire kicking uh, to, to getting and customers delivering value out of this, and we certainly, you know, uh, appreciate what uh, what uh, AWS does to help support Cortex. And he pointed to some of the integrations there, and and another connected uh, partner ecosystem that we both share. Very strategic partnership with Entropic, and you mentioned the the the, the interaction, the integration there, which is going to be deriving even more value with our, our customers as well. So we're thrilled with that with that uh, that partnership, that announcement. We're excited to see where that's going to they're going to head next. Well, gentlemen, it's such a pleasure to be with both of you here at AWS Reinvent on the show floor. Why are you both so bullish for this next chapter of the AWS plus Snowflake partnership? And what advice would you like to leave the audience with on steps to take now in order to differentiate their data estates to set themselves apart from their competition? Chris, let's lead off with sure, you. Yeah, so it's, it's really the synergy that you're seeing between the right. two companies, right? And that's manifesting themselves in a couple ways. So first of all, we have over 7,000 customers using Snowflake on AWS, right? So again, we, we've got a lot of customers that are already working uh, jointly with us. Uh, it's the continued investment that Snowflake is making with AWS. So Tyler talked about the new generative AI specialty, right? That just was announced literally an hour ago on the, on the uh, partner keynote. They were one of our launch partners, right? So they continue to invest and do those types of things. And so that, that's really critical. And then of course that, you know, continued focus on the industry use cases, right? That's where we're really having that good alignment across all those key verticals, which are healthcare, financial services, media and entertainment, you know, manufacturing, any of those, we've got a really good storyline uh, with Snowflake. And so in terms of what I would want to leave the audience with, you know, is really, I would say kind of three things. So first, continue to have a cloud first mindset, right? That is really critical. We, we've seen time and time again, where organizations will try to retrofit the cloud strategy and after the fact. Right, it just doesn't work. It's really hard to kind of put the electrical wiring in the walls after you put up the drywall, right? So you got to have that focus on cloud first. The second thing is really make sure you have a unified data strategy and have that unified data story because oftentimes, especially with generated AI, our customers want to pull data from a variety of locations. And so if you continue to silo things, it just makes it very problematic, makes it difficult. It's just not a good customer experience, right? And, and then again, just continue to focus on those industry use cases. Like that's what we want to do because there's just so much opportunity out there. And if we really provide that industry bent alongside all the great technical innovation that's happening between the two companies, that synergy is going to provide an awesome customer experience. It's an exciting next chapter indeed. And Tyler, from your seat. Yeah, it's, it's certainly excited about the opportunity that, that our momentum will deliver to customers and the value that they'll, they'll receive from that. And I'll put, it, I'll put it in context for you. So the $4 billion that we booked in the last 12 months on AWS, means that both Snowflake and AWS can continue to invest and accelerate our investments in integration, in solutions you talk about, many industry solutions, uh, in, in Gen AI solutions, and in other workloads as well, like analytics and uh, data engineering and so on. So really excited about that ability to continue that investment. And quite frankly, it's a flywheel effect to right. benefit our customers, because as we succeed, we invest more, which creates more success and more value for our customers, and then they lean in more with us and identify new use cases and expand that. So. So it's, it's powerful to see that coming together at the scale that we're doing in, in aligning in marketplace together that benefits those customers. And what I'm excited about next year is showing up here a year from now at this same event and talking to you 
and reflecting on what that looks like and the innovation we're driving, the integration we're driving, and to recognize Snowflake's third year in a row of being the global partner of the year in the category of data and analytics. I absolutely love it, love it gentlemen. So let's mark our calendars now. 12 months from now, let's continue the conversation. Such a pleasure having you both on the program Thank today. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.